It's 2025. It's easier than ever to set up a CRM and track your leads. And if you feel like you're just not tracking and most importantly, following up with leads, this video is for you. I'm going to share my screen and show you the CRM setup to make sure you never forget about tracking leads. We want those leads to find out about you, visit your website, fill out a form and get automated emails so they end up hiring you over your competitors. Hey there, my name is Brad Smith, owner of Automation Links. I've been doing this marketing stuff for the last 10 years, work with over 2,500 brands. You can always learn more about me here. Let's not bore you with that. I'm going to break down and show you this system, how you can set up the CRM so you get more leads turning into customers. If you want the full system, comment system down below. Somebody from my team will send you over this snapshot so you can go ahead and get started and start tracking leads. Let's not wait any longer, let's dive in. So depending on your website builder and where your website's built, it's pretty straightforward to go into your website, find out where your form is, and be ready to switch that out for the form for your CRM. Now what we recommend is using a software, we use our website called Duda, make sure the page loads, and to make sure all the tracking's there. And then what I recommend is using something like Go High Level, which is the most cost-effective, easiest to use and tracks all of your leads as well of having multiple different features like this. So here's a couple of example leads that have come in from our site. I'm going to go ahead and just click on one here and I can see that they came in on the contact form and that you'll be able to actually see all the pages they visited on the website, all the information they filled out and exactly all the deals and pipelines. Now what you want to do is always go in and find the forms. The forms is where you're going to go in and figure out, all right, what's the information that I want to collect for this customer? So I'm going to go to our contact page form here, and this is our contact page right here. And what we want to do is remove your normal website form, and we want to drag and drop an HTML widget in there. Now, if you're not a web pro or don't know much about a website editing, or maybe you have someone else do this, they can go ahead and help set this up and get it integrated. So as you can see, use the form builder that's in your CRM because then this is fully customizable. All the lead and contact information will automatically be added into your account. So what we want to do is ask for first name, last name, email. And then what we can do is make sure we go and change the colors and make sure all the colors are appropriate and on brand. From there, all we have to do is hit integrate, copy embed code. And we're going to go ahead and go back to your website builder and we're going to paste that into your HTML. From there, click update, and then the form will update from there. Now, when somebody fills out this form, they're automatically going to go back into your CRM so you can track that. I'll, I'll show you an example right here. And you can see that this person just filled out the form. We can see exactly the pages that they were on, where they came from, and all the information that's been sent to them, whether it's email or text. You can also do some other things like add them to automations. You can add tags or update them in the opportunities pipeline. Now from there, I do want to encourage you to create opportunities. These are going to be called different things on different CRMs. Sometimes they're called pipelines. Sometimes they're called opportunities. But as you can see here, I like to set it up to where if a new lead comes in, we want to add them to the new contact field. If they sign up for the newsletter, I want to add them to my newsletter list. And if I end up sending them a proposal or they, as an example for my nonprofit here, donate or volunteer, we can set that up here. Now, once somebody gets into your system from your custom form, you want to add them to the pipeline. And then from there, you can set up some automations to make sure you never forget to follow up with them. So you can see right here, after somebody fills out the form, this is the form. That's why you want to make sure it's integrated with your website. That way you don't have to use external sources like things like Zapier or having your web developer, you know, set it up for you. It may break. We want to make sure that they come in from the form and we're able to send those automated emails from here. I encourage you to use custom values so you don't have to come change these every time. Feel free to add newsletter style or plain text. I always encourage, encourage plain text. And then from there, you can even set up some different logic, whether they open the email or they didn't open the email. All right, from there, so I want to encourage you to continue posting good content. You can go into your CRM. You can send out emails and email newsletters, which I recommend to stay in touch with all of your leads. And then you can send out social media so you can make sure you pre-schedule and see how your social media is doing. Uh, CRMs end up allowing you to sync with your different social media platforms. And once you post, you'll be able to see the stats. Same thing for when you're sending the emails. I want to encourage you to go and see those and take a look at those stats to see how many have been delivered, how many have been opened, 
and how many have been clicked. We really want to keep an open rate above 30%. Now, once the leads in the CRM, you want to make sure you're tracking them. You're looking at your dashboard to make sure that you're moving them along the pipeline and that you or your sales team is keeping note on how your conversion process is going. And if you want to use Go High Level and have our team help you with an automation, you can go ahead and grab that in my affiliate link down below. We do get a small percentage if you sign up with our affiliate link, but we'll in return send you our automation snapshot so you can go ahead and get started with a head start with some templates already in your account. And of course, if you need any help setting this up for yourself, make sure you reach out to my team. We've got a full course that breaks down exactly how to set up each one of these so you can get the best results for your business. So if this video brought you any value, it'd be awesome if you subscribe to my channel. And if you wanna learn more about this marketing and automation and really see how to run ads and follow up with your customers, you can check out this playlist right here. And I hope to see you on my next video.